Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss what is DB issue and addressing techniques. Let's start with DB issue. As discussed in the previous lecture, using DB with registers of 16 bits produces ambiguity in the results. This program was discussed in the previous lecture which produced DB issue. The issue arises due to the use of two consecutive bytes for separate data. DB stores the data in 8-bit format while AX retrieves the data in 16-bit format. For the given scenario, 2 becomes 02 and 1 becomes 01. From tag 1, then the data retrieved in AX will be 01. 0, 2. This issue can be resolved by replacing AX with AL and BX with BL as AL and BL refers to one byte each. The updated program is given as follows. If you check, we have replaced all 16-bit registers with 8-bit register. Let's dry run this program. Let's execute the given program step by step. For the first instruction, that is move AL comma square bracket tag 1, we will go to tag 1, index 0 and copy single byte. Then we are going to move this single byte to AL. So our updated data will be 0, 0, 0, 2. As BX is not involved in this instruction, so the value of BX will be all zeros. Moving forward, next instruction is move BL comma 4. For this instruction, AX remains same while BX will be updated to 0, 0, 0, 4. For the last instruction, that is add AL comma BL, the data stored in AL, that is 02, will be added with the data stored in BL, that is 04, and the resultant will be 06. So AX will become 0006, while BX will remain as it is. So our final value stored in AX will be 0006, and the final value of BX will be 0004. In order to further develop our understanding, let us try run this task. In this task, the first instruction, move AH comma square bracket tag 1, asks us to go to tag 1, index number 0, and copy the data, that is 0, 02, and move the value in AH portion of AX register. So the data will become 0, 02, 0, 0. As the most significant 8 bits are considered as AH and the least significant 8 bits are considered as AL and BX will be 0. For the next instruction that is move BH comma 4, AX remains same while BX will become 0, 4, double 0. And for the third and last instruction that is add AH comma BH value of AH that is 0, 02 will be added with the value of BH that is 0, 04 and the result that is 0, 06 will be stored in AH. So the final value of AX will become 0, 06 double 0 while BX remains same. Now try to dry run task number 2 to see how well you understand the topic. While programming in assembly language, people assume that the registers they are going to use are empty. This assumption may lead to undesirable results because sometimes these registers contains garbage data which needs to be cleared out. To be on safe side, we need to clear the registers. We can clear the registers by using command like move ax, zero or exclusive or ax, ax. Typically for NASM, exclusive or AX, AX is utilized to clear the register. Now let's discuss addressing techniques. The address field in a typical instruction format is relatively small. We would like to be able to reference a large range of locations in main memory. 
To achieve this objective, a variety of addressing techniques can be employed. Most commonly used addressing techniques are immediate addressing, direct addressing, indirect addressing, and index addressing. In immediate addressing, the instruction itself contains the data to be loaded into the destination. Using this addressing technique, we can easily assign any valid value to required register. The next addressing technique is direct addressing technique. In direct addressing, the address field specifies which memory or register contains the operand or data. In simple words, you can easily copy the data from memory and move it in any register. The third one is indirect addressing. In indirect addressing, the address field specifies which memory or register contains the address of an operand or data. The last one is index addressing technique. It is also known as displacement addressing technique. In index addressing, the address field consists of two parts. One, index contents. Two, constant. So the address field is the sum of index contents and constant. It specifies which memory or register contains the operand.